Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Camo, and I am a full-time tenured sociology professor at Georgia Southwestern State University, and today I'm going to attempt to answer the question of what is sociology. Now, most sociology textbooks are going to offer a definition of sociology, and most of these definitions are going to be fairly similar. In fact, I've observed that many definitions tend to have three key parts to them. And to illustrate this, I'm going to offer what I think is a nice, concise definition of sociology. Sociology is the scientific study of human action and social structures. Now, within this definition, there are three key parts. There is a reference to science or the scientific method. In this definition, I've offered the scientific study. Sometimes you'll see the word systematic study, some other term, but all these terms terms refer to the fact that sociology is a scientific discipline. You may be familiar with the scientific method, which has its origins from the Enlightenment. It involves the use of data or evidence and reason, often in the form of hypotheses. Sociology is a social science. It uses data. Now, it doesn't always use hypotheses. Sometimes when you get into qualitative research methods, things like grounded theory, they don't start with the hypothesis. But in many sociological studies, especially those that are quantitative, they do start with a hypothesis and they test that using data. So when you read things in a sociology textbook, factual statements about things that go on in society, those tend to be drawn from research using data to analyze and support those findings. Now, the second thing you tend to see in most definitions is some sort of reference to human action or behavior, essentially the things that people do. Now, in conversation, we use the words action and behavior interchangeably often. I tend to use the word action. The sociologist Max Weber, amongst others, noted that action tends to involve humans making decisions about things they want to do, whereas the term behavior is sometimes associated with behaviorism and psychology, which sometimes has been viewed as humans as sort of stimulus response machines. I don't want to get too far into that. I'm not a psychologist, but many sociologists tend to prefer the word action because it is differentiated from behavior as associated with psychology. But the important part here is that sociology is looking at things people do, typically things they do with an intentionality, actions people take for some sort of goal in mind, but not just what they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, what it means to them as they do those things. Sociology as a scientific discipline looks at those things in great detail and from a lot of different perspectives. Now, the third part of most definitions you find of sociology is some sort of reference to social structures or institutions. Essentially, what I describe these is as patterns of interaction between humans that repeat themselves over time and across locations. For example, while religion to individuals may be something very personal and meaningful, from a sociological perspective, the institution of religion is essentially a pattern of interactions, people interacting in some sort of consistent ways, going to worship services, practicing certain rituals, following certain doctrines and beliefs. Essentially, these are patterns of behavior that are generally consistent over time and across locations. The same thing could be said for education, the family, economy. All these things are essentially, when you boil them down to the lowest common denominator, people interacting in pattern ways and those patterns repeating themselves from one day to the next, one month to the next, one year to the next. So when you put it all together, sociology is a social science or a scientific discipline that looks at what people do, why they do it, how they do it, and how those things that we do create patterns of interactions or social structures or institutions that consistently repeat themselves over time and from one place to another. Now, this definition just scratches the surface of what sociology is. To really understand it, you're going to need to understand its history, how it looks at individuals and society, and I'll be covering that in future videos. I hope this video was helpful. Please be sure to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.